how do you think they can bounce back for uh, uh, the next game? I mean, another tough loss. It was like the start of our World Cup in 2014, but uh, we were able to find a way to get a win at the end of that tournament. So hopefully they continue to learn from last night's game and just, just finishing. Played almost a perfect, you know, three and a half, almost three and three fourths quarters of a game. And I was excited. I was there. It was awesome to watch us on our home court in front of our home fans, uh, just competing to the best. So I wish them all the luck. Thank you so much for Proud. that game. Um, your predictions for the finals in the field? Oh, man. It's too early. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. But um, I mean, USA will see tonight for the first time. And Canada looked really strong yesterday. They looked impressive. And you have the veterans like Spain and teams like that. So it could be anybody's game. Um, but at the end of the day, I think USA is probably one of the stronger favorites. What you excited to look out for? Ooh. I mean, got to watch Jordan again at live here in the Philippines. Uh, AJ Adu, I'm a big fan of. So those two guys were high on my list. But outside of them, Rudy Fernandez. I'm a big Rudy Fernandez fan for, for Spain. He's one of their veterans now, but an exciting player and somebody who's had a great history in FIBA. Can you invite again all of the Filipinos oh, to yes. support Gilles continues? Yes, yes, yes. To all of our Kapabayan both here, whether you're at home watching on TV, just continue to support Gilles Filipinas. Uh, for myself and all the past players before, we should invite all the best. Take care and God bless. Thank you. No problem.